Oh wait. Oh! Hi, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Welcome. And who do we have here? Someone with the same face as me, who is a different gender. Justin, introduce yourself. Hi, Hi I'm, I'm Justin. Justin. And... <laughs> I'm a bit of a... Give me a little spice. I'm a bit of a jokester. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every single week. And yes sir. yes, sir is correct. Share this video with three people. Justin, who are the three? If you have a sibling, your sibling. It's an easy one. Clearly. Um, siblings. If you have a mom, your mom. Your mom. And um, one of your close friends that's not Chloe. Yes. One of or your close me. friends that isn't me. Or Justin, don't even try, don't even type it in an iMessage for either of us. <laughs> so for today's video, due to the fact that my brother is now a TikTok celebrity, if you will, we are going to be reacting slash rating slash roasting TikTok fashion trends that we've seen. Personally, I feel like TikTok has been setting the trends for fashion for like a few years now just because everybody on that app is like younger and then those are the people that set the trends anyway so we're gonna be going through some of the trends that i've seen and ranking them and seeing what justin thinks is it gonna be like on the screen? oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah how are you gonna do that oh editing boy have you seen my videos i've edited like potatoes on my face before Green screens. Yeah, take a minute. Say something to the people at home, Justin. Just see a moment. Um, this is your first time on my channel? I guess. Have a good day. Answer some questions about siblings. How old are we apart? Um, what's the um, most annoying thing about me? I think we are four years apart and mm, there's nothing annoying about you. Right! <laughs> right! We all know that's not true. I don't really mind. Everybody's... Everybody has... Just spit it out, love. Just spit it out. I can't even, like, think of it. He'll think about it as the video progresses. It'll jump out at you, I'm sure. Okay, so this is the first trend I've seen, and it's... Jeans, I mean, no, wait, no, 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 let me get this right. It's skirts over jeans. Oh. Have you seen this? Yeah. So it's, it is early 2000s and it looks like this. I'll insert it here. How do you feel? I don't know. I I really don't um, like it. You don't vibe with it? Not that particularly. The ripped jeans. Oy. You don't like the ribs, so maybe without ribs. Maybe. I think the denim on denim looks a little better. Mm. What would you rate it out of 10? Uh, maybe like 4 out of 10. Okay, well, I personally really, really like that trend. I think it's sick. That girl in particular that I showed, I'm like obsessed with her TikTok. Shout out Kiersey, if you ever see this. She's from London, love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she talks like this and she's like, she's like, this is what she always says in her videos. I don't, I don't sound, sound like, like in Wine House. house. Like, like, I don't understand, I don't understand why, why you guys keep saying that. Like, it's not paying. Like, 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 for me, for it's me, just like, she says paying a lot. Someone commented <laughs> on my video, your teeth are paying. Yeah, paying. It's like it's like British slang for like cool. Um, I really like that trend. I think I would have styled it differently than she did in that video, but that was like her first time trying it basically. So I would give overall the trend, I would give it like an eight or a nine. Because well, I really like it. With with <laughs> with denim on denim, I would give it a seven out of I would rank that one pretty high because I, I haven't seen a lot of people do it and I think it's really cool. So I would give that one a 8 out of 10 and an extra half point because of the British slang for cool that we learned today. Peng. Comment Peng down below. Are we only reviewing her? No. <laughs> We're reviewing this small TikTok influencer's TikTok for an entire video. 
I want to show you this, but I already know what you're going to say. Um, I'm just going to show you a picture because I don't know where to find it. But I know you know what they are already, but I don't want to spoil it. These. Oh, I'm going to insert it right the here. Rings? Yeah. Um, I think they're really cool because, uh, are those the clay ones? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, you can make them and design your own, and, like, it's sustainable, right? Because it's biodegradable, right? Period. I'd give it, like, a 9 out of 10. Here's my thoughts about these rings, because I've seen them everywhere. Every single person has them, and I I these to me i don't know why for some reason in my mind when i think of these rings i think of jelly shoes like they're just one and the same is my hair on you your hair is so long. yeah it's long <laughs> feel it in the breezes so those are jelly shoes in my brain do i like jelly shoes brings me to my next point i am conflicted about jelly shoes i don't think that i love them wait what are jelly shoes again Jeez, it's so hard to be the older sibling These. Oy. These little f <laughs> But aren't they the f***ing same? No. Okay, maybe it doesn't make sense, but in my brain it makes I know, total sense. I know what sense. you mean. Like, I, they look like they're th the same texture. They look like they would feel the same. Okay, they kind of look it's, the same. It's similar texture because it's like on the rings, like the last coat of paint is like kind of like a polish. Mm -hmm. So it's similar, but those are just ugly. So those are my thoughts. I don't hate the rings, but they're jelly shoes. So I'll leave it at that for you to unpack later. I would give those a six out of 10. Oh, I know, oh! Okay, sorry, no offense. Go into it with a blank slate. Clear your palette. Okay. Oh, the track suit? N not just any track suit. Oh, the This specific Jaded suede. London oh. brown velour. So it's just this It's outfit. from a specific brand, yeah. But is it just like this colorway, this outfit? Yeah, it's this. It comes in a different colorway, but it's the same print. It's the same design. I mean, I think it looks pretty... Mm, it's not ugly. To be honest, though, I think that's better than a tracksuit, like a sports tracksuit that's like... Yeah, for so, sure. So, I mean, I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. Mm, yeah. 6 out of 10, mm. actually. He said six. He said six. Don't get your hopes up, <laughs> ladies. He said six. Here's my thing with this. I think matchy on the top, matchy on the bottom was a thing like in 2015. Do you know what I'm, know saying? What I'm saying? Like that, I feel like reached its peak in like 2016. We were all wearing two piece sets and like it was a thing. And then I feel like at some point we have to let it go. When everything is two-pieced, it just kind of takes away from, like, the creativity of, like, two different, like, things that look good together. Yeah, and I do get the appeal because I did used to wear them. Like, it's it's easy because you, it's easy to put an outfit together and stuff. But if all you have is just two-piece sets, it's just like, ugh. And I used to love them, but now I can't stand them. So it gets bad points because it's a two-piece set. The colorway is fun because I do like browns and neutrals and everything like that, but I I don't like that everybody that buys it has like the same brand and like the same, do you know what it's, I'm saying? Oh, I know what we should do next. Don't tell me, make a surprise. Okay. I do think track suits themselves, like the velour track suits, I think they're cool. Like a vintage one, like if you can find a vintage, I found a vintage Tommy Hilfiger one at a antique place that I almost got, but then I didn't get because it was really expensive. I think stuff like that is cool because it's like actual vintage from the time that it was popular, but I think manufacturing new things to look old to me is just like gross in general. I think it's cooler if it's like authentically vintage and I don't like that they all look the same and now there's a million people walking around in the same exact outfit. No shade. However, I would give that a one out of 10. Damn. I feel very passionately against that. But I do like tracksuits and I love that girl that posted it, Ree. She's a queen. Pow. You, you know what I'm talking about. 
Vivian Westwood. Yeah, I like this pearl necklace a lot of people have. I actually haven't seen that. Really? Yeah. Like, I've seen, like... Maybe it's countless. the younger demographic. Yeah, probably. I, I think they people started wearing it because... Gigi Hadid wore it? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of guys... Same thing with those rings. I feel like Gigi Hadid wore it. And yeah. Then... So, with, with that necklace, I just think it's, like, when one celebrity wears it, like, I don't know, it's kind of tacky just to... For like everybody too. Mm -hmm. So you are not a fan. I mean, or okay. You're middle. It it does look nice, but for jewelry pieces, like in general, if I were to buy a jewelry piece, mm -hmm. like I kind of want it to be a little unique because jewelry is kind of like you know like sentimental in a mm -hmm. way, yeah. and it's like you wear it like every single day, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like you. So Who you this by the way? Uh, Lexi. It, it's one thing like this a lot of people have silver chains, but it's just a regular silver chain But also there's like, you know different like chain links. Yeah chain links and stuff So it like can be unique, but like a specific thing I just think it's kind of tacky for like a bunch of it's like everybody wearing like a chain that says like my name is Jordan But everybody mm -hmm. wears it, you know, mm -hmm. it's just kind of like I don't know. Yeah, so rating out of ten five because the thing is like it's a nice thing, like it looks nice in general, like mm -hmm. it's not ugly, it's just like everyone wearing it and it's such like a unique piece for everyone to be wearing, it's like that makes it like a 5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. So before I break some necks, right now, right now, this is just, all this is just my opinion. I'm just very opinionated and you can take it or leave it, it's not good or bad, it's just my opinion. I personally- Sound like dad. Yeah, I am dad. Hi dad if you're watching. I personally hate this. I would never wear it. I think the pearls are, <laughs> sorry. I think it's ugly. I would never, <laughs> are those real diamonds or is it just like little the, On the real one, probably. Okay, I think if you have the real one, then it's probably sick. But I think if you have one of the knockoff ones, like the sparkles are gonna look like a Forever 21 type B. They're gonna rust, like the <laughs> pearls. Those pearls look like beads unless they're real. Like if you buy a knockoff one, this is, so this is so ugly. I'm so sorry, but I think this is so ugly. I think the reason Gigi Hadid pulled it, okay, that does not look like the knockoff ones. The one Gigi Hadid is wearing, I think it's interesting and I do like it. She wears it in a way where it juxtaposes her more like masculine clothes. So it's like cool. It makes it cool because it's like a structured blazer, like a boyish hat. And then the Vivian Westwood necklace that's really girly. But I think styling it in a really girly way, especially if you get one of these knockoff ones, just looks so bad. To me. To I, me. I agree with the contrast. Like it looks good when it's contrast. Yeah, this is a negative five for me. Damn. Sorry. Um. Oh, I have one for you. This is kind of an old TikTok trend, but I'll throw it to you just, just in case. <laughs> oh. Um. I don't know. Puka shell necklace. This is kind of a similar thing. It's like it. It's ugly. Like the. It's ugly. Okay. But on. It's ugly. We've established. On, on people like, I don't know. Like on some people with like super tan skin, mm -hmm. it like contrasts that and mm -hmm. it looks good. Mm -hmm. But on like, I don't know. Caucasians. Yeah, on super pale Caucasians. <laughs> the way you say it, Caucasians. <laughs> you like enunciate cock. Caucasians. Caucasians. You <laughs> no, you're saying it like cock space Asians. <laughs> yeah. Instead of Caucasians. Because it it's C A U C like Caucasian. <laughs> you're saying cock Asian. Yeah. Instead of Caucasian. Cock Asian. No! Cock Asian. Cock Asian. Cock Asian. Cock Asian. There you go. So what's your rating out of 10? I think this is worse than the other one. I'd rate it a three out of 10. Okay, this I feel the opposite about because I like it aesthetically because I used to wear these when I was really little, like in Bali. And it's very, it's like beachy Hawaii, which I like the aesthetic of it without anyone else involved. However, when a million people wear it, negative points. Well, it's cause these like girls, they see like the surfer guys wearing it and then they probably like- mm. See, but I would rather you rip an idea off a surfer guy than like Bella Hadid. 
Yeah, so that's true. So to me, these are, this is a three because I don't mind it aesthetically, but I think if everyone is doing something, why would you then buy it and do it? Oh my God, these. Mm. Have you seen these? Yeah, I don't, I don't like cow print stuff. I just think cow print is pretty ugly. And we'll also throw in mini purses at the same time. Cow print is like. He's about to go off. Cow print is have like having like, have you seen one of those like, um, hoodies that have like a bunch of emojis on them? Yeah, you that, think cow print? That's what it is to me. Interesting. Okay, I like that. Put your foot down. Say no to cow print. Testify. And it's also like cheetah print. Cheetahs are. <gasps> Sorry. But cheetahs are. <gasps> Sorry. But <laughs> cheetahs are cool. Like as an animal, but like. You're wearing like a cow print? I think cheetah print is way worse than cow print. Really? I just think it's more overdone. Yeah, it is overdone. But cow but print is on its way to being too overdone. Yeah, but the thing is like cheetah print has been around for ages. Mm -hmm. Like if it just started, it would be like pretty cool. But yeah. I just think like a cow print, it's just like, are you going to make like a pig skin bag? It's just not my cup of tea. And it's a fluffy bag. It's a fluffy oversized bag. That's cow print. I, I do like fluffy stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, um, he gotta admit, okay? He can't he can't lie to you guys. With the fluff, six out of ten. Okay. Without three. How do you feel about mini purses? I like mini purses. Rating out of ten. Out of with cow? No, uh, just in general. Oh, I th I just think it's a ten out of ten because it's just like yeah, a yeah. good fashion piece, I'd say. Okay, cow print bag, I would give a five out of ten. I don't hate it, but I also don't really love it, and I think it kind of can look cringe. So I'd give it a five. Mini bags, I think two years ago were mini bag peaking moments. Now it's 2021. I think it's cool, but I'm ready for what's next with purses. I just think mini bags are such like a broad. But mini know, bags were never a thing until like two years ago, and then they were uh, really big. And then now it's like we're still on f mini bag. You know what I mean? So I'm just ready for what's next with the bag situation. That's why I don't mind the silhouette of like those big fluffy aggressive ones because at least it's something different than like the same mini bag that everyone wears. So I would give mini bags a 4 out of 10. I did have one at one point. It was orange and it was like this big. Anyway, my camera is going to run out of storage again. So that's the end of our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. It's a great time. It's for free. It's It comes with uh um um it it's good content yeah and, it's good content and you know um you don't know how much um happiness that chloe gets when you like or subscribe it's such an easy thing to do it's true and yeah. it goes straight to my head right for real straight in her heart and in my heart and she keeps you there. I do. You cannot leave. You can't forever. And, and it, it comes, comes with, with a side, side salad. salad. Give it a thumbs up and uh, share it with your grandparents and your neighbors and your best friend, best friend another time. Okay, again, send it a second time uh, to see if she's a real one. Oh, and comment down. What should I comment? Comment what, comment your, what favorite your favorite fashion. fashion. Yeah! yeah. Was, was or, was, or is, is. If, if it wasn't, if it wasn't in, the video, in the video, tell us. Tell us. We, we care, care about, about your, opinion. your opinion. Yeah, it's true we do. So comment or else. What are you going to do? Not comment. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.